hey there, color psychology is really interesting. For instance, like right now, there is a very cold and bright light beating down on me right now, and I don't think I could get any work done or go to sleep anytime soon with all this light. But let's say I make the light a little warmer. Now that's more like it. Did you know it's actually scientifically proven that you can get more work done if you study in a warmer light setting? Let's see what else can happen. Colors can also be associated with a lot of things. For instance, the color red can be a symbol of love, such as like on Valentine's Day. But then again, the color red can also be associated with violence, such as like with blood, and it can make us scared, hence why it's used in horror movies a lot. Another instance for the color red is McDonald's. McDonald's uses red on a background with a yellow M that promotes a feeling of hunger. The color blue is used in airplane seats a lot. This is because we use blue with a sense of calmness. If we see blue, we tend to get more calm, and blue airplane seats means calmer passengers. But there's also a weird effect. Blue actually keeps you up longer. I'm sure you've heard of blue lights for say. Blue lights block melatonin from being produced. And because of that, if we look at blue lights for too long, like this, it can make us more awake. But red, on the other hand, has a much shorter wavelength and therefore can actually make you more sleepy surprisingly, even though it's not a very calming color. Color psychology is interesting. Subscribe if you learned something.